we'd we'd bring our kids out here because our kids were about the same ages, and they homeschooled and we homeschooled, so we had a lot in common. Okay. And this was a family. I was hoping, you know, some of my kids might marry, <laughs> marry their kids, but that didn't ever happen. I hear some footsteps. That's awesome. I can go get a little a, a ladder, and you can stand up. Yeah. This is so fun. Okay, so what is the name of this? This is awesome. Um, Hands of Time. There's nothing about time in it except numbers. I mean, there are no, there are no, no hands. There are hands, but there are no hands. No clock hands. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> This is this looks great on this wall. I love it. Right. Yeah, when I walked in, I was almost shocked. I haven't seen it for a very long time. Like five years? Probably five years since yeah. Because that's the that's when I gave all my art away five years ago. So anyway, we'll just start I guess at the top. And move down. First, this box is a box. It's not an ammo box. No, but the original box shape that I used was um, from Boeing. That box that my dad made. He made it. I made a lid and a bottom the same. Oh, and then and then yeah, Carl made you boxes the same size, right? Yeah, my father-in-law made boxes the same size, but the Boeing box is one of the originals, and I don't remember. This might be one of the, this might be the other the, the top or the bottom of it. But anyway, whatever it is, this is the same size as all my other boxes, which is a good size for you know a, a larger piece of art. I needed things that were on a clock. Um, this is a, a bell for it's like a, a school clock. bell, kind of. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a. I wanted a bell, and this is somebody's souvenir. It was a little bowl. So if you look in here, you can see it's a bowl, and on here, I don't know. It's like you carried this bowl with these handles. It's from some other country. I I don't know what country it was from, but I just found it at. At a secondhand store. Oh, so those side things are already on the bowl. Yeah, they were already on the bowl. It was almost like this is how you carry the bowl with these little handles. And uh, so I, I painted it. I wanted it to look like these worked. <laughs> and uh, these are just handles, and I, I don't even know if they are anymore. They were handles. This was a, no, I just don't know. So Debbie, didn't, didn't you say that when people see this, they say, they ask if it works? Yes. And so. Yeah, and my son-in-law spent two hours studying it, trying to find all the numbers. <laughs> Are they all there? Well, I 10, so. still. <laughs> ten, I don't know if there's a 10, I know there's an extra one and stuff. One, two, three. <laughs> he didn't tell me if he found them. I don't, <laughs> I don't think they're all here. Well, there's that because one that's wiggling, and then there's the zero. Yeah, let's just wiggle it. Yeah, it's like the one and the z these are the tens. I, d I don't think all the numbers are there. I just had, <laughs> and here's, here's a one, two, three. I just had from one to ten, and then I just, I don't know. <laughs> and this can be, this can like be stuck over here because... Tick tock, tick tock. 
so then I wanted to make it look like it wound up and that it made things work, which it doesn't. Uh, this is a, a ketchup and mustard holder. Like you put it on the table and it, it goes this way. It goes horizontal and you put ketchup and mustard in it. Right. That's what that is. And this is just a dowel of some kind. And this is, this is a napkin ring. And then bicycle gears with a, with a bicycle chain. Sure. So this top, you just put this on your wall and it just pegs. Like a coat hanger? Yeah, like a hanger or whatever. Hot hanger. Whatever, yeah, you just put it on your wall. And these were at, on, you know, these two t on the top and then the bottom, they were shelf, I don't know what you call them, but they just held up a shelf. I just took the shelf apart and used these. You can see how you know, right. the shelf fits on there. This was is one of those dingy things that that this is a it's a starts as a flat piece of wood, and then you take your saw and you saw it around and around and around and around, and by the time you're done, you can. It looks like a bowl. Yeah, you can sh shove it back or out or whatever and it makes makes it look like a bowl well wait so you did you do that no i didn't oh, i don't make anything <laughs> <laughs> except these hands i did i did make those hands because i wanted hands and not hands <laughs> um and then of course a bike a bicycle gear again and this is probably not pick some nut, nut cracker too. Yeah, it's nut pick holders. Um, this is a bath from a bathroom. Like it's supposed to hold your toothbrushes. So, and this is just a piece to put this on. It was just a piece of wood. Yeah, it was probably. I don't. I don't know if it was that shape or not. And then this was a fan. Yeah, that's just a little computer fan or or printer fan or something that it moves actually. <laughs> and this is all this is the other one of the bathroom, you know, toothbrush holders. With the number seven? Yeah. It's this like an so alphabet. Yeah. This is so fun. Okay, so builder. what is it? Without right. any alphabets. Just numbers. <laughs> okay. Um so more bicycle gears computer parts that looks like oh just a piece of something is that's it? like from a printer mm -hmm. is it? yeah I think so this is the other part of a barometer the other big one is on the one that we filmed at Nancy's right. um, called talk. brass tacks yes yeah the, the big part of this barometer was that on oh, her no. yeah and let's see, so, you know, I put this little bicycle thing on here so that it looks like if this turns, then it winds these and... Right. Anyway. Oh, and this is the same stick that goes on the outside. Oh, yeah, it goes through. It goes, it goes all the way through. So you drilled a hole. Yeah, I did. Through. I do that. I drill holes. Um, I don't remember what that is. But it was something I sliced. I sliced, I had several of these shapes and I sliced them. And then a wooden spoon. This whole thing on the bottom, somebody had made for, I don't know why. Um, but I'm sure it was supposed to, I'm sure it was supposed to be upside down when they used it. Right. For. You know, and it has little holes for pegs or something. I have no idea what it is. Any ideas? Any guesses? <laughs> but it it goes great there. Right. And so bicycle chain and this is something. Is it several of them? This is together? the pepper. And this is the salt, but you you just 
undo this and pour the salt in. But this one, you undo this, put the pepper in, and then it grinds, it grinds it. Yeah, so these were big, long salt and pepper stickers. Whoa. You probably didn't know all this stuff, did you? Yeah, that's why I came in to find out. So, <laughs> so you can tell people. <laughs> well, it, it's recorded now, so. Okay. Okay, so up here, this, I don't know, you might be able to get, have to get closer. Oh, right. But if you see right here, there are three candle stick, candle holders. So this actually, these are the legs for the candlestick holder. It's four of them, and it sits on the table. I can't even tell you what kind. So that whole thing is one piece. Yeah, the whole thing is one piece. Oh, but cool. it, but I wanted it to look like, like it does. These three things are from a piano. So I just wanted it to look like this could actually make bing play. bong, bing bong, bing 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 bong, or whatever. Right? Just like a clock, yeah. cuckoo clock, or whatever. Yeah. And this is a part of a meat mallet, I think. But the thing I, I didn't want is to lose this key, so I put it on this lock. And this lock can never be opened now. Because this key is locked <laughs> onto the lock. But isn't that a cute little door? Like there's a little mouse that lives in there. Yeah, <laughs> cute. It, this came from that, um, can you see it? Uh huh. Yeah, it's got three holes through it. It came from that clock shop, that clock factory in Sisters, Oregon. So that's one of the pieces I used. From, from the there. brass that they let me collect the garbage, really. I collect garbage. <laughs> A little hickory dickory duck clock. So this is called Hands of Time because of the hands. It's owned by the Ball family in Hamer, Idaho. And I'm happy they have it. Ciao.